sorry for the dishevelled look. Um, it is just coming up 11 and I've just got home. Um, for context, tonight is the 5th of November and uh, I was running the fireworks and the bonfire for my work bonfire night. And yeah, big fire picture here. Um, anyway, I should probably get on and make a video for you guys. Alright, that's better. I look a bit more presentable now. Um, so, what should we talk about this week? I'm thinking maybe something to do with this. Um, these, sorry, these are attack sense targets uh, that um, I was kindly lent by the attack sense guys. So, uh, over the past couple of months, um, yeah, months I've been busy. Um, I've been talking to these guys. Um, they they contacted me and said, "Hey, do you want to borrow a set to check out?" So yes, these these have been borrowed. These I haven't been given them. Um, been lent them to test and have a play around with. Um, and they basically said, "Yeah, do whatever you want with them." So I uh, I got a thinking and I got a watching YouTube and uh, I watch a bit of Real Steel stuff mainly because I like. I like to learn the history of them and stuff, so I watch Forgotten Weapons. Uh, if you don't watch Forgotten Weapons and you want to learn about firearms and the history of them and the development of them, watch Forgotten Weapons. I also watch a sister channel to that called In Range TV. Bloke on the Range. Um, bit of a different channel. Uh, again, he, he mainly deals with historic firearms. But him and some other YouTubers, including In Range TV, went and took part in something called Finnish Brutality. Um, and as you can tell from the names, it's actually brutal and it's set in Finland. It's not just target shooting, it's dynamic, moving about. You have to shoot the targets and go do something like carry this 50 kilo ammo bag from here to there or throw this weight as far as you can and then run up to the weight and continue shooting. So, after watching that, I thought, hang on. I can clone one of these stages and do it in airsoft. And with these, that's exactly what we did. So there, one of the stages was the parking lot shootout. So you start in a car and actually, you know what, this will be a lot easier to explain with the setup. So I'm gonna hand over to past me in Wales. Right, excuse the wind noise. I know it's quite windy, but Scott has kindly volunteered to be our demo guy for this stage. So, the shoot will start in the car, just driving along cruising, and uh, then, on the sound of the beep, five targets appear. He has to draw his pistol, load it, and then engage the five targets. Bing, bang, bosh, done. When three more targets appear, so he leaves his pistol in the car, and has to cross across the car, where his rifle is handily waiting. So he has to draw his rifle out of the window and then load a mag from his person onto the rifle and then engage those three targets. Once they've been engaged he can then hop out of the car and you can see we handily mark these to stage three where he stays behind the door and uses his cover as three more targets appear and he engages those targets. And once they've been engaged, he moves to a new position of cover. Where three more targets will appear and he has to engage. And he'll finally move from stage four round to stage five. Coming round the back of the caravan. Taking a prone, uh, a kneeling position. And engage the final three targets. He's feeling happy. Let's <laughs> do it.
Sorted. So what do you think of, uh, of that little uh, montage? Um, I decided to do it as a montage as opposed to the three back to back because I thought that would drag the video out a bit too long. But if you're interested in seeing our individual runs, um, drop a comment down below and I might just post them up for everyone to have a peruse at and see how bad we really are. But now on to the bits that we've all been waiting for, the results to see who did what. Um, before I get onto that though, I'll just preface this with, uh, you may notice that Scott and I were shooting semi-automatic on our rifles and uh, Alice was shooting full auto. She was originally meant to shoot uh, semi-automatic, however her, her uh, gun started locking up quite a lot and uh, for some reason wasn't working so uh, we allowed her full auto. Um, and I'll get onto this later, but when she was shooting full auto I was counting one burst as one shot because she tended to only burst in about three shots, which is about right. Um, anyway, onto the scores on the doors. Uh, I'll go down the list in, uh, in alphabetical order. So Alice, her run was 73.6 seconds. I did the run in 79.36 seconds and Scott did the run in 76.43 seconds. However, Alice um, missed a target, it timed out, uh, so I'm going to assign a 5 second penalty for uh, missing a target, which seems about right. Uh, so with that taken into mind, Alice then jumps up to a 78.6 second time. So in that order, Scott got the fastest time, Alice got the second fastest, and uh, I was the slow poke at the back. However, we could then factor in uh, the hit rate. Because uh, we know, 17 targets in total, uh, therefore if you're really good you should have only fired 17 shots, and if you're really bad you would have fired hundreds. Um, so I've been through, I'll digitise this and it should appear somewhere, basically number of shots per stage, and uh, what I'll do is uh, for every shot over the number of targets, uh, up until 10 shots um, over, I'll add a second onto each person's time. So, um, factoring that in, plus factoring in the 5 seconds for, for our Alice, uh, we're going to add on 23 seconds for Alice, uh, going to add on 10 seconds for me, and we're going to add on 18 seconds for Scott. Which brings our scores on the door. Alice uh, did it in 96.6 seconds corrected, I did it in 89.6 three six seconds corrected and Scott did it in ninety four point four three seconds uncorrected which means I won Scott came second and Alice came third so actually taking those three scores in we each won in a various different calculation so yay participation trophies all round Stick around because there will be more attack sense related videos coming out because we did a couple of things with them. Um, and I even did a video showing how I set up that custom round, so stay tuned and I will be showing that soon. Oh, I almost forgot. Check out Bloke on the Range. Uh, he was very kind and let me uh, put some of his clips from uh, Finnish Brutality up in the video early, earlier on. Uh, and also, it was really the inspiration for this setup. So, uh, yeah. Go over there, say I sent you over, check him out, pretty good channel, I enjoy watching him. Uh, unapologetically British, I would say, unapologetically, there, unapologetically British, I would say, would be a, a good description for him. Um, so yeah, go check him out. Uh, link should be appearing either here, or down in the description, or even, hopefully, in the end cards. Yes, I do end cards if you stick around that long, which I don't think any of you do. But yeah, that's been the first in this kind of series of attack sense videos. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you in the next one. You're still here? But the, the video's over. It's done. Go, go home. Oh wait, before you do, um, instead why don't you consider watching one of my other videos? or even uh, subscribing on the link down below.